It turns out this meeting between President Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin at the G20 summit in Hamburg earlier this month was not the only one. Late today, the White House confirmed Putin and Mr. Trump had another previously undisclosed informal meeting that evening. We do not know what was discussed. And now more about that infamous meeting at Trump Tower last year involving Donald Trump Jr. The number of attendees we know about is up to eight. Here's Jeff Pegues. Today, Ike Cavalazzi, a Soviet-born businessman who came to the U.S. in 1991, was identified by his lawyer as yet another person who attended Donald Trump Jr.'s meeting in Trump Tower in June 2016. The lawyer, Scott Balber, said Cavalazzi doesn't remember saying a single word, left scratching his head and wondering, why am I here? Balber said investigators for special counsel Robert Mueller have asked to talk to Cavalazzi. Mueller is examining whether the Trump campaign conspired with the Russian government. Uh, you know, there is nothing there. Last week, the president's son said he agreed to the meeting because he was led to believe the Kremlin had negative information about Hillary Clinton. Instead, he has said the Russians really wanted to talk about reversing sanctions imposed by the Obama administration. The meeting took place at the behest of the Agalarov family. Aras Agalarov is a Russian billionaire oligarch with close ties to Russian President Vladimir Putin. Gavalatsi was the Agalarov's man in the Trump Tower meeting. In 2013, on the eve of the Miss USA pageant, he attended this dinner in Las Vegas with the Agalarovs as they dined with Mr. Trump. Gavalatsi's name has surfaced before. In 2000, a government report said a businessman later identified as Cavalazzi had set up hundreds of accounts for Russian brokers and two U.S. banks. The report said the accounts were used to possibly launder over $1 billion from Russian and Eastern European companies. Cavalazzi was not charged in that case. His lawyer said at the time that he did nothing illegal, and he accused the GAO of a witch hunt. Anthony. Jeff Begase, thank you, Jeff.